Welcome to Be the Boom. In a secluded village nestled between mist-covered mountains, there lived a venerable Zen master named Master Koji. His abode, a modest dwelling surrounded by lush greenery and the gentle rustling of bamboo, held an air of tranquility that drew seekers from far and wide. One day, a troubled young hero ventured into the village seeking guidance. The hero's eyes bore the weight of self-doubt and uncertainty, and the whispers of the villagers spoke of Master Koji's ability to illuminate the path of self-discovery. Master Koji, with his white robe flowing gracefully, welcomed the hero into his humble abode. The scent of incense lingered in the air as the two sat on simple mats, facing each other. Master Koji's eyes, deep pools of wisdom, met the hero's troubled gaze. Welcome, brave one, Master Koji spoke with a gentle smile. I sense a storm within you. Tell me, what burdens your heart? The hero hesitated before pouring out their soul to the Zen master. Master Koji, I find it hard to feel at peace with myself. Doubts and insecurities plague my every step, like shadows that refuse to dissipate. Master Koji listened attentively, his presence a calming force in the room. Ah, the turbulence within, he mused. A common struggle for many. Let us embark on a journey to still these waters and uncover the serene lake beneath. He led the hero to a bamboo grove bathed in dappled sunlight. The bamboo stood tall and proud, yet it swayed gracefully with the breeze. Hero, observe the bamboo, Master Koji said, his voice soft as a whisper. It finds strength in its roots, yet remains flexible in the face of life's breezes. You too must find strength within but be adaptable like the bamboo. Perplexed, the hero looked at the bamboo as if awaiting a revelation. Master Koji continued, close your eyes, feel the breeze, imagine yourself as bamboo, embrace your strengths, and when challenges come, sway gracefully without breaking. As the hero closed their eyes, a gentle breeze enveloped them. Through the rustling bamboo, they began to sense the ebb and flow of life's uncertainties. With each sway, a sense of calm washed over them, and the weight on their shoulders began to lift. Returning to the meditation space, Master Koji introduced the hero to the art of mindfulness. To feel better about oneself, one must first acknowledge the mind's chatter. Like a noisy stream, let the thoughts flow without judgment. Be the silent observer. Days turned into weeks as Master Koji patiently guided the hero through various lessons. Each day brought a new revelation. A tea ceremony symbolizing the beauty in simplicity, a calligraphy session highlighting the uniqueness of each stroke, and moments of reflection by a tranquil pond where the water mirrored the clarity of the mind. In these moments of practice and reflection, the hero began to notice a change within themselves. The once turbulent river of their thoughts had transformed into a serene lake where the ripples of doubt subsided. Master Koji, observing the hero's newfound peace, knew that the journey was not yet complete. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the village, Master Koji shared his final piece of wisdom with the hero. They sat by the calm pond, its surface reflecting the colors of the setting sun. Feeling better about oneself is not a destination, but a continuous journey. Master Koji began, his voice a soothing melody. Embrace the lessons of the bamboo. Find strength and flexibility, for life is ever-changing. The true self is revealed when we accept both the light and the shadow within us. The hero absorbed these words, the wisdom sinking deep into their being. The silence that followed held a profound understanding, an understanding that resonated with the essence of their own existence. As the hero left the village with a heart lighter than before, they carried with them the whispered wisdom of the bamboo, a timeless tale of self-discovery shared by a wise Zen master named Koji. The village, now shrouded in the tranquility of the evening, stood witness to the ever-flowing stream of seekers, and the timeless teachings that echoed through the rustling bamboo.